always tried to push the limits of what I can do with my gear. And a little over a year ago, I thought to myself, I have to try an ultra wide monitor. So I went ultra wide, super ultra wide, actually 49 inches, and I've never looked back. Since then, I've come across several ultra wide tips and apps and accessories that have been like rocket fuel for my productivity. Things I'm gonna share with you today. And I apologize to your wallet in advance. I'm sorry to your wallet because today I am going to try to convince you that living the ultra wide life is for you. Without an ultra wide, my MacBook Pro lets me focus on basically one activity, one window at a time. Well, maybe two if they're squished. With a 27 inch monitor, I do get more room. It's nice. Two apps can live side by side and they don't feel squished. But with an ultra wide, three full size apps visible at once. An entire video timeline, no scrolling required. Two apps, each the size of a 27 inch monitor living side by side. One app surrounded by two supporting apps or windows, or even six different windows or apps all usable, which I use all the time. The configurations are practically endless. When I'm writing, I like to have two notes windows open in the middle of the screen, one to write in, one to reference, with my music off to the right and a web browser for research off to the left. When I'm in video editing mode, I like to have Final Cut Pro open in the middle with a finder window open on either side, each set to a different location for easily dragging and dropping files onto my timeline. When I'm creating a thumbnail, for instance, it's great to have Lightroom and Photoshop both open at the same time. And sometimes it's just nice to have an app open surrounded by some inspiring wallpaper. See all that space. And I'll even leave you guys some custom ultra wide wallpapers that I made for myself linked up down in the description. Now, most of the time, are you gonna set one app to full screen and just leave it there? No, you're not gonna do that, but I do have one exception. I love sticking my mind, one of my all time favorite apps, you hear me talk about it a lot, in a browser window, make it full screen, and just soak in all of the cool tweets and articles and photos and everything else that I've saved and wanted to remember, and just have it right there in front of me. It's a great way to get immersed in all the interesting things that I've come across. And plus, when has Apple's Drift screensaver ever looked cooler than on the ultra wide? Never never would be the appropriate answer. What I'm saying is no other Mac accessory will let you personalize your Mac experience on quite the same level. For me, the Magnet app is a crucial part of my ultra wide workflow because it lets me quickly and easily arrange my workspace using keyboard shortcuts. And there are other alternatives, you pick your favorite. So control option, left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow for halves. Control option D, F, G for thirds. Control option one through six for sixths. Control option U, I, J, K for the corners. You get the point, it doesn't take long at all to get a workspace set up and utilize all that screen real estate. It's faster than me drinking a nitro coffee, which is fast. Speaking of apps and ultra wides, there's a really good chance you're gonna wanna install either Switch Res X or Displays to get the best possible resolution out of that massive display. So you got this big massive screen and you see the comments, people are like, well, the resolution is not as good as X, Y, or Z. Well, yeah, but use one of these apps. I've been very happy with it, even as a video editor. And if you need to do something like take a high resolution screenshot, pop open your Mac and take a screenshot on your Mac screen, right? That's high resolution. It's a workaround, it's perfect. And nope, there's no reason why you can't use an iPad running sidecar along with your ultra wide and your Mac screen for a total of three screens, which I gotta tell you feels even more unparalleled compared to other setups that I've had in the past because it lets me really choose what I want to see and segment and isolate without having to use expose. It's amazing. And not that you necessarily would, but I'm just gonna mention it because with 49 inches, you could have up to 16 columns in TweetDeck open at once, just like your own personal dashboard or command center. If you wanna use your MacBook's Touch ID, you're gonna have to keep it open on your desk, which is gonna take up more room, but it makes unlock 
unlocking your Mac and authenticating purchases and downloads easier. But on the other hand, if you prefer that cleaner look where you keep the Mac closed and kind of out of the way, then you can just use an Apple Watch to unlock the Mac even when it's in clamshell mode. And that's what I do most of the time. It works flawlessly, I highly recommend it. Now, whatever ultra wide you end up going with, and I'll make some recommendations for the best ones to buy right now in just a second, make sure that you install the custom software that comes with it. Don't just unpack it and plug it in and get to work. Like my LG model here, it came with software that let me do all kinds of interesting things, including displaying a PC on one side of the monitor and a Mac on the other side for a best of both worlds kind of a setup. And yes, for a while I actually had that set up with a gaming laptop on one side and my Mac on the other for like work and play. The only problem was that was then anti-productive, right? Because you can't say, well, I'm gonna eat less ice cream and then have a big bowl of ice cream sitting right there, right? That was the game. Online multiplayer or get some work done. And if you find yourself thinking, well, one ultra wide, that's not enough. Well, guess what? You can absolutely stack two ultra wides on top of each other. It's totally doable. I mentioned that very thing one time to somebody somewhere and they said, what would you possibly do with all of that space? And for me, I think it's like this with the ultra wide. This has been my experience with just one ultra wide. It's like Parkinson's law, which states, and yes, I had to look this up, did memorize it, that your work will expand to fit the time given. Well, I think your apps will expand to fit the real estate, the screen real estate given, no problem. For the cleanest possible ultra wide desk setup, you're gonna wanna pick up a monitor arm, but not just any monitor arm. If you're going for a 49 inch beast like me, you're gonna wanna find one that's labeled heavy duty. If you're looking for a nice one, human scale definitely makes one of the nicest I've seen. The M10 model can easily handle monitors up to 48 pounds. And in case you're wondering if your desk is actually wide enough for an ultra wide, then you're probably looking at something that's at least 53 inches wide. And just an FYI, the base of the monitor stand that I have is 28.5 inches. These things do take up a lot of physical space, meaning you might have to make sacrifices for other items that you might want on your desk. But what I've found is that they tend to open up my mental space because I can actually go deeper into my work the wider my screen gets because the keyword is immersion. So if you do have to get rid of your desk lamp, don't worry because there are plenty of great lights that you can actually mount on the top of your monitor to light up your desk and workspace. And I actually recommend one from BenQ, which again, I'll link up in the description. And speaking of lighting, an ultra wide is a natural candidate for a smart light strip, whether you go with a name brand like a Hue light strip or a LifeX strip, or whether you go with one of those cheaper off brands that just comes with a remote. But getting that glow on the wall around your monitor, that's just a fun look. But here's what it comes down to for me. I can say definitively and concretely that an ultra wide does improve my productivity because it helps to keep me in the zone. With everything I need in front of my eyes, I don't have to dig around. It saves me time. There's no switching of windows. There's no searching for apps, which means less opportunities to get distracted. With all of that space, my projects are kept top of mind. And what I really feel like it does is it lets me shift into top gear in terms of work mode and mentality faster and work more efficiently because I've got everything that I need right at my fingertips. And if you're not convinced yet, that's totally fine because ultra wides, they're not for everybody, right? Certain types of jobs need that higher resolution that an ultra wide can't offer at the moment, or maybe you just don't like the looks. But I will say on the looks department, I do really like the looks of the ultra wide and so do lots of people. I get so many comments just talking about the enormity of the screen. It's impressive. An ultra wide on your desk, it's a commanding presence and it puts you in command of your projects. You know, I was gonna sit here and talk about here are the best ultra wides I think on the market for you to consider right now. I think what I'm gonna do to help keep this video more updated is update it from time to time. So right now I'll go down in the description and put some links to what I think I consider the top ultra wides, the ones that I would buy right now, but maybe in six months or a year, I'll go back and update that and try to keep it kind of fresh for people. That's it for this video, but the fun doesn't have to stop there. The last video that I made, I poured all of my iPad knowledge into and it turned out terrific. 
uh, people are really loving all the iPad tips and tricks and accessories. If you haven't seen it yet, if you're new around here, can I make a suggestion? Go check it out. I'll link it up down below because it's a special video and I don't want you guys to miss it. Otherwise, don't forget it's at Daily Tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K, -K, on Instagram, on Twitter, now on Clubhouse, if you guys wanna get in on any of those. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.